Hi, and welcome to a SonicWall video tutorial. My name is Micah Vorst. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to export and import a settings file from a SonicWall firewall. I'll also cover how to configure cloud backup, which is a new feature in SonicOS 6.5 firmware. We'll even create a schedule so that the firewall automatically saves a backup every few days. For today's demonstration, I'll be using an NSA 6650 on Sonic OS 6.5.2 firmware. If you have a firewall and would like to follow along, you must be on Sonic OS 6.5 or later to take advantage of the cloud backup feature. Let's get started. We'll first cover how to export a settings file. A firewall settings file is one of the most important files that you can back up. It's important to export this file often so that you have a backup should you ever need it. It's important to understand the difference of a local SonicWall backup and an exported settings file. On SonicWall NSA series, NSV series, and NSSP series, the local backup feature saves a copy of the current system state, firmware, and configuration settings on your appliance, protecting all your existing settings in the event that it becomes necessary to return to a previous configuration state. Consider this as a snapshot that is stored on the device. On SonicWall TZ series and Soho wireless appliances, you can export a backup of your current configuration settings. Regardless of which device you have, it's always a good idea to periodically export a settings file to a safe location. Let's do that now. To begin, log into your firewall and navigate to Manage, Firmware and Backups. Click the option Import slash Export Configuration and then click Export Configuration. The dialog box will provide a default file name. As you can see, the default file name uses a format that consists of the firewall model and firmware version. When we click Export, we can either rename this file or leave it as is. We'll keep the default file name for now and save the file. Consider saving the settings file in a safe spot that you can easily access should you need it down the road. That's it. We've effectively backed up the firewall. Consider making a copy of these settings files and including it in your disaster and recovery program. Next, let's import a settings file. Simply click on import slash export configuration and select import configuration. For our consideration, the device will prompt us to save a settings file before we input a config file, just in case we need to revert later. Since we've just exported a settings file, we'll click proceed to import. An important thing to note here is that you cannot import a settings file that is newer than the OS that is being run. For example, we exported our settings file while running 6.5 firmware. If we wanted to import the settings file from 6.5, that would be fine. If we imported a settings file from 6.2, that would also be OK. However, if for some reason we needed to import this 6.5 settings file, but the firewall firmware was on 6.2, it would not be successful. If we imported the settings file, it would effectively corrupt the current settings because the firewall is expecting settings for 6.2 firmware and not 6.5. The existing firmware cannot handle settings that were meant for newer firmware. Naturally, a newer firmware version can support older settings files. In this case, older does not mean a settings file from a few years ago, but rather one or two older revisions of firmware. If we accidentally import the wrong settings file, we can quickly boot the firewall into a factory defaulted state and then import the correct settings file. One final note, like most appliances, a reboot will occur when the settings file has been imported. We'll select the exported settings file and click open. We'll select browse, our settings file, import. After the settings has been imported, it'll prompt us to remain on this page, 
while the appliance reboots. Okay, we've covered exporting and importing a settings file. Let's talk about cloud backup. In Sonic OS 6.5, cloud backup was introduced to provide a safe and automated way to store a settings file offsite. If enabled, the settings file is sent to mysonicwall.com and uses the account that is associated to the firewall. There are two ways to view a settings file saved by cloud backup. The first way is to navigate to the firmware and backups page, which will display a list of current cloud backup settings. We haven't enabled cloud backup yet, therefore we don't see anything right now. The second method is by logging into the mysonicwall.com account associated with the firewall. Once logged in, select the firewall and then click cloud backups. Before we can create a scheduled backup, we need to enable the cloud feature. If you haven't enabled cloud backup, now is the time to do so. Navigate to Manage Firmware and Backups and click Enable Cloud Backup. Now, let's create a scheduled cloud backup. Navigate to Create Backup and select Schedule Backup. Here we can select the frequency, time of day, and the hour that we want the backup to occur. Right now, by default, the backup happens Sunday through Saturday from 2 to 3 in the morning. That's fine with me for right now, so go ahead and click OK. That's it. Now that the schedule has been created, the firewall will automatically save a backup at the specified period. We can also manually backup a settings file after making a change. Simply click Create Backup and then Cloud Backup. We have the option to retain a cloud backup so it's not overwritten, as well as a comment. We'll go ahead and select Upload. There we go. We have a settings file that is currently saved on mysonicwall.com on the latest firmware 6.5.2. If we select Show One Configuration File, we will see that it is nicely uploaded. We can download the settings file, boot directly to it, or we can remove the settings file if we no longer need it. One thing to note, when enabling cloud backup, if you select retain cloud backup, the configuration file will be retained so it is not overwritten during auto or manual backup to the cloud. Limit of three configuration files can be retained per firmware version, so it's important for you to understand what you want to retain and what you want to continue to be overwritten as time goes on. If you're in a closed environment or the firewall won't be able to contact mysonicwall.com, you can set up a scheduled FTP backup. To create an FTP backup, you must first have a working FTP server. Once we have that server, we can go to Manage, Firmware and Backups, and then click Settings. Here we can enable sending a settings file via FTP. We'll input the server information, user credentials, and then set up the schedule. We can set up a single backup or a reoccurring backup. For our demo, let's set up a one-time backup. All right, so let's go ahead and select the next minute here and select OK. That should do it. Let's wait a few moments and then navigate to our FTP home directory of that user. Excellent. The settings file has been saved on the FTP server. Okay. We've covered how to export and import a settings file locally. We've also discussed remote backup options such as cloud backup or enabling FTP. I recommend using the automated schedule to export a settings file at least once a week. Thanks for watching. To learn more about configuring SonicWall products, visit www.sonicwall.com/support.